All right, how y'all doing? This is Uncle Buckshot. Buckshot three. Here we are. This is my target. This is one of them. Yeah, I sighted that puppy in. I made sure that I could shoot the exile about 10 or 15 yards away. Now, this is how I did it with this. I don't know the ex exact yardage, but you see that? You put this at the end, so it's 100 feet. Whatever the yards work out too, that's okay. I'm Hillbilly, I like to show you what I'm using. That's what I'm using. Put it at the end, so 100 feet away. I'm doing that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now you're probably asking what I'm doing it with, but I've been talking to you about it. My new toy. Yeah. The Daisy 880. Now, uh, to put the pellets in, see here? There's a little ramp right in there. You'll, you'll notice there's a little ramp in there. Now, if you're doing BBs, now I got I got a full of BBs right now because I was up there shooting cam. Okay. Yeah, do BBs. After you shoot, you can just pull it back, pop it in with your finger, the other BB, pop this thing four times, you're good to go. 500 feet per second. Yep, yep. All right. Um, yeah, I've also been out there with one of my little favorite pistols. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, we're been popping holes in cans. There we are. We all know that uh, WD-40 cans are pretty heavy. Now, I showed you earlier in the front yard where I was shooting these at, at a, at a pretty good distance. Now, when you sight it in, I, I used the measuring tape, 100 feet. Okay. Uh, these are a lot farther out. These are halfway down the beach, you know. And you know these, these are heavy cans. These are heavy cans. Um, at, at at the 50 yard mark where, or 40 yard mark where these things really are sitting, uh, you can hear some of the BBs in there now. I was going to use some of these. These are those gold plated pellets. I'm going to save him. He's got a purpose, but. I do have some of these round pellets that look just like that, but they're crossbent. And they seem to be a nice, nice way they're made. You know, the skirt on these other pellets are kind of goofy, and there's a hole in the middle. I mean, you could probably pack that full of uh, gunpowder and make an exploding pellet real easy. I see people do that all the time here lately on YouTube. Um, but back to the Daisy 880S uh, scope. Um, when you sight this puppy in, please do it at a pretty good distance. Like I showed you, you know, this is my basic, you know, when I'm doing it with, with the little handheld, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it at 30 feet. But yeah, you know, this here, for this, this is 800 feet per second. So you want a pretty good distance away. Now, you know, when I'm doing it with the Red Rider, of course, it's only 50 feet. Uh, 20, 20 feet, you know, same thing with the pistol, because it's, you know, 350 feet per second. But this here is 800 feet per second. Now, when you sight your, get this thing in, the scope's not going to be connected. It's going to be sitting in a box like this. And you see where the scope was, right? It's not going to be connected at all. Now, before you put the scope on, please, 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 the one thing you need to do, use your iron sights. First, sight your gun in with the iron sights. Okay, you know that gun is shooting very straight, except for your little bit of a wiggle. And you know you're going to get it in good. Okay. Then, when you put the scope on, put the scope on. Make sure your knuckles are a pretty good distance. Make sure the eye pieces when you when you get up there like this, you know, it's going to be where you need it to be. Everybody here can move your head back and forth, kind of get the scope in right. You know, uh, make sure you adjust the lines in there because if you're a little buzzy, you're not going to hit nothing right. Okay? Uh, it's a cheap scope. What do you expect? It works. Uh, like I said, I'm hitting cans. See the dot on the on the uh, where it says WD-40? 
Yeah, I took that out. That was the first shot. Pow. Yeah, I put, the, put that scope right dead on and, you know, halfway down the beach, I'm just nailing it. I'm getting ready for that gopher. But uh, I got it full of BBs, so I'll probably go out and do a little more cannon before the sun goes completely down. Get some flanking done. Uh, the silver BBs are the best. Uh, they're a little cheaper because it, it, the material that they're using is a little cheaper. But they seem to be cleaner. The copper BBs seem to be rubbing off. Uh, the copper does rub off when they bounce off of each other because look at that. That can is dirty. That can's only a week old. And that thing looks clean since I've been using it. Now they look, well, you know, copper. Uh, but, you know, of course I got my Red Rider. The little one's using the Red Rider. She's having a lot of fun with that. But yeah, these here, and this here was only like seven dollars. Where if you got the same amount in the copper, I think it's because the copper's gone up in the stock market. But you're gonna pay about two dollars more uh, if you're, and, and I, you're not gonna get the six thousand count. No, 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 no. You'll only get like a forty-five hundred count, or something like that, and you'll be paying eight dollars. But uh, this here will keep, help keep your guns nice and clean and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish up and go have some fun. I want you guys all to have some fun now too, now you're here. And uh, come on back now, because you know when I test things out, I test them out. I put a lot of rounds. The uh, Daisy 201. Oh yeah, I'm still shooting these in here. Oh yeah, because I got that in my pocket. You know, every every fourth fifth round you got to shoot this off. You know, I got the, got the got the cans out there, stuff like cowboys and Indian. You know, my little four year old's using this Red Rider like you wouldn't believe. She's doing pretty good. She's doing better than I am. <laughs> well, that's good. I get some squirrel going, you know. But uh, you all having a good day now? You here? And uh, I'm gonna go on out there, and I'm I think I'm gonna go shoot a couple more rounds and get some more cans. And I want you to remember when you put the pellets in and when you sight this puppy in, do it with iron sights first, then put your scope on here. Make sure the scope's not twisted a little bit because if, if you got these too close together, it may be a little twist. Put them farther apart. Put the knuckles farther apart, and then you got less chance of a twist. Uh, look down the top, make sure it's not, you know, because you're going to be shooting off. I did see somebody where. I don't think they did that part first, and all of a sudden they're tearing the gun apart to bend the inside barrel. That inside barrel is not as soft as some people think. But that thing is pretty pretty hard. It's got a nice rifling in it. Um, you, it, it I, easy 100, 100 yards. I think I could hit hit a can, you know, um, because it's well for once 800 feet per second. Now, of course, if I use that gold one, I'm getting a thousand. But I'm not going to. Um, but look at that. That is a nice weapon. Uh, nice, nice planking tool. You go out there, get these cans. You, you, you get, you get them, them uh, gophers. You know, don't forget. Buckshot said, have some fun. If you can't have fun, stay in bed.